Yeah. Okay, well, this is an easy contradiction. I can prove you have a cons uh, uh, connection. I just don't. You still just don't have a murder. <laughs> it's never personal, it's just good business. Yeah, this is this is an easy contradiction. Come on, Edgeworth, you should know this. We share no connection. I beg to differ. Uh where is it? Right here. Knightley's memo. Simple as that. The exact game you were playing. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. This ain't no coincidence, buddy. Dude, don't even try. We know it's you! And knowing Dogen as an assassin, if he was losing at the chess game, and he was really pissed off, he probably could have killed... Knightley. What?! Wait, 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 what?! That's what you're claiming? But it's your murder weapon! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Then who killed him? Objection. Ray. Ray, what do you have? Who originally killed him? He retrieved it because it's his chisel. If he didn't remove the weapon, it would have drawn suspicion right back to him. Yeah. I guess. Well, serial killers have trademarks usually, so... It's still creepy. How useful. Two in the world. 
one on N Anubis and one on the chisel. That was your reasoning? So you didn't even originally have the chisel. not necessarily a crime. If he doesn't have fingerprints on it, then... That means Dogen is innocent. Oh my gosh! They couldn't have been wiped since Knightley's fingerprints were on it. Is Dogen not lying? And the Chisel's original owner is... H who? Yeah, this is getting weird. What? I guess he's not, but this doesn't make any sense. I have, though. I've changed things about this case, Courtney. I- We have a confession from him. That he brought the body over here. And that means that Simon wouldn't have done anything. Like, the workroom A thing is completely- nah, That would be a coincidence if Anubis brought the body from the- workroom, brought it back to the special room, special cell, and then brought it back to the workroom. We've changed the case, Courtney. Even you can accept that. the most important thing is the truth. And we're saving him. We have changed this case entirely. They don't. I do. We're the only ones on his side right now. Yes. I will see it through. We just gotta find another suspect now. The board. But, there's the chessboard still.
Even Courtney admitted it. Send him a package. The one with the chisel inside. Why he has a chisel inside for emergencies, I have no idea. But... The bell. You have a secret weapon number four? Mr. Analysis. I want to watch Radar. Where's Radar? Right next to Mr. Coffee, sir. Oh god, I love space balls. <laughs> Uh, don't here, because I think I remember how to use this. Let's see if I actually somewhat remember how to use this thing. So basically, I think you get four quadrants, or quadrants, and you can observe, you can like zoom in on each one to get like a more enhanced picture, and you can like Fast forward it frame by frame, similar to Rise from the Ashes, so it's not too confusing for the most part. Every nook and cranny, no problem, Gumshoe. Okay, so um, let's. Okay, yeah, that's how you pause it, and then and then Ella zoom in. So let's see. Let's first see uh, what we get when we zoom in on nightly during the kill. I want to unpause it. Can I zoom? Do I have to zoom out to unpause it? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to speed things up here, so... Let's examine nightly first. Actually, you know what? I think I think probably the best area to search right now would be maybe let's take a look at the cam like the mirror and see if we see anything on it. Cuz now we can see this in more detail. Okay, so I'm going to look at the camera here. Yeah, let's see what we can see on the mirror right now. Do we see anything? Um, there's something that looks like his hand, though. I might cut this around so I can... Uh piece things together. I... Uh, you, it takes a while to try to pause this. So... Whoa, 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 Okay, okay. First thing, I'm gonna take a look at the dog. Okay. Let's zoom in here. Uh, let's move back a couple frames. Let's examine this. a silhouette. Oh my gosh! It's Rocky! It's a bear. A polar bear to be specific. Which leaves us- which I think I already know where the second thing's coming from. 
Rocky the Polar Bear. Now the second question is, why is it black? But that's an easy thing to prove. This man is a knightly. The only person it could be is... Yeah. Okay, let's let's get back to examining then. Um You can see a couple things go on over here in this mirror. Right there, okay. So let's zoom in. Let's back it up a couple frames. That appears to be a security hat. Uh-huh. It looks like a security hat. No. It was someone wearing a security guard outfit that shouldn't have been wearing it. Caps the missing security guard uniform. That's why this was important. A prison escape. Rocky the polar bear and prison escape. Two things that I think definitively prove who is in this video. Yeah. Elbert comes to mind again. No longer holds because of the tunnel. That this is Elbert. It's the only person it can be at this point. Which ends up leading two questions. Which, well, actually, not two questions. One question. Where is Knightley in this situation now? Because he's not in this room now. It's because of the stupid mud thing. Mud pant. Mug. Meh. Mud packs that Frank was doing. Yep, that's why he was black, and that's why he left Prince while going through the tunnel, too. Applying mud packs. And here's the third thing that proves that this was Elbert. He's the one. There were two pe There were three people who did not show up to the show: Dogen, Sawitz, and J. Albert. Or uh, actually, no. Okay, it was those two that we knew of. And then there was a third person that didn't show up to the animal show. And because of this time, it was J. Albert that w he was the only person who didn't come. around 9 o'clock during the animal show. And yes, I, I see where Edgeworth is coming from. This is not 9 o'clock. It was taken at 6 o'clock. But it wasn't. It reads 6 o'clock. To watch the animal show. Dogen was in here. Sawit was doing mud packs, probably. 
and Elbird was escaping. He went through the tunnel. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! And this explains why he got out! Oh my gosh! Three whole hours. So this is where things get weird. Why is- is the camera three hours behind? A moment being three hours? Was cut for three whole hours. Holy crap. When did the power go out? It was Elbird who would have knocked him out. Hey, Roland. No. He is a security guard right now. <laughs> oh. And that's why he couldn't escape the building, because it would have gone off otherwise. Rocky? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you got screwed, El. You got screwed, El. Or uh, I can't speak English. You got screwed, Elbird.